All right, so it's my pleasure to introduce uh, the last Hooli Award for tonight, which is the new Frontier category. Um, this category encompasses clients uh, who have demonstrated going above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, they're using our software uh, to break ground in untracked territories. Uh, they're promoting new ways of thinking, blazing the trail for others, and serving their community in unique ways. Um, New Frontier is, is kind of special. Um, it's uh, partly about people using our systems that maybe they're not so much intended for, but breaking that new ground. It gets developers a little bit uneasy to say, oh, we're using the system in a new way, um, but it's great. Um, they're pushing the envelope, um, and we love to see those things. We do it ourselves. Um, so without further ado, the nominees for the New Frontier Huli Award. Ann Vosbrink. Arizona Department of Health. Ann Vosbrink has been integral in validating data quality and providing benchmarked reports to EMS agencies for patient outcomes in Arizona. To say data quality is a priority to Ann would be an understatement. Her new frontier mentality is demonstrated by becoming one of the first few states to implement the Nemesis version 3 standard in 2014, working closely with the Arizona agencies and providing feedback and suggestions to improve products as well. East Baton Rouge EMS, Community Integrated Health Program. In community paramedicine, collaboration and the sharing of data couldn't be more important to best serve the patient as well as realizing the financial impact for EMS providers, patients, and hospitals. Through analysis, East Baton Rouge EMS found how they can make the biggest impact and have achieved success. They've created partnerships with Tulane University, LSU, and others. Within their program, their per-month 911 calls decreased by 70% and transports by 69%, and the financial impact is impressive. Dr. Don Rice, Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services EMS program. Building on the success of the Nebraska statewide STEMI program, Dr. Rice has the vision of a statewide cardiac registry that includes combining EMS and hospital records for both STEMI and cardiac arrest patients into a single data submission and reporting warehouse. This combined system will then allow for analyzing data even more broadly to help promote better patient care. Fire Investigations Team of the Mississippi State Fire Marshal's Office. Mississippi's new frontier is their fire investigation solution. From updating and creating investigation forms to building new and better ways to generate complete documentation. With the amount of data and photos collected, the team worked closely with ImageTrend to refine the manner in which investigations are tracked in Mississippi. The team proactively determines the necessary fields in the investigation using validation instead of hoping the paper forms are filled out correctly. The ultimate goal? More mobility, accessible information with better reporting and analysis. Patrick Sennett, Advocate Good Samaritan EMS. Patrick Sennett has been a pioneer in many facets of pre-hospital EMS care with a passion for technology and data, helping to make evidence-based medical decisions with data to improve patient care. His contributions have affected many aspects of EMS systems and the work done today. Some examples of his new frontier thinking and specific product innovations are the QA-QI report, the ambulance run data report, training record storage and retrieval, narrative templates, and power tool enhancements, a true partner in innovation. East Baton Rouge EMS. I just want to thank Image Trend for the assistance in, in doing this. This is very nice. Appreciate it. Thank you all.